It's no surprise that running back Monte Ball was the center of attention at today's annual media day. He was a Heisman Trophy finalist a year ago and enters his senior season looking to help the Badgers to a third straight Rose Bowl. But of course, there's more to the story. He made off the field headlines as well. He spoke with reporters for the first time since being attacked by five men in the early morning hours of August 1st. Ball suffered a concussion and is expected to be in a green jersey this week. So no contact, but he is back on the practice field. He spoke with the team earlier in camp apologizing for being a distraction and today he tells the media he is ready to move forward. Um, I felt that you know trying to be a leader for this team and a captain I know I had to get up there and say something to all the players because all the hard work I put into this program I'm sure they're looking up to me so I'm just want to make sure that they all know that I'm all in with them and focus on what we need to do. It really shows me how much I do live my, live my life in a fishbowl and how much of how big of a microscope that that's on top of me basically uh, everyone's watching to see what I do as soon as I step out of my apartment and it's a learning experience you live and you learn and I'm most definitely gonna count my blessings and just thank thank the Lord that it, yeah, I only had a bruised jaw you know during the season I most definitely don't go out because I'm most definitely focused on you know winning for this team and stuff like that but you know I don't look over my shoulder I don't walk out of my apartment scared because you just can't do that I mean, I mean I've read a couple basically saying I'm, I'm kind of drawing a pattern here basically but but no I mean uh, I don't, that's not true at all. I, people who know me know how I am, and I, I care myself in a high manner. Uh, kind of had some conversations with him and his parents just uh, to make them totally aware, and I think he is proof is in the pudding on what happens from this day forward, but uh, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, um, he's got an awareness to him, probably at a heightened awareness that's, that's he's never had to, to this point. Turn our focus to Camp Randall with continuing coverage now as Monte Ball addresses the media for the first time since he was attacked. News 3's Emily Cumlin spoke with last year's Heisman candidate who shared a few details from that early August incident. Emily. Yeah, Andy, Monte Ball has described his life as a star running back for Wisconsin as living in a fishbowl. That was certainly the case today with all the media attention. But number 28 was very poised when he explained what happened in the early morning hours of August 1st. What I can tell you is it was just the night, last night basically before, going, uh, before uh, camp started. Went out with a few friends and we weren't getting rowdy or anything and then I was just heading right back to my place a block away and I was attacked and that's all I remember. Ball says he cannot give out any more details since it is an ongoing investigation, but he is very grateful for the UW medical staff as he is expected to make a full recovery. Ball also said he spoke with his teammates at the start of camp apologizing for being a distraction. We'll hear plenty more from him and head coach Brett Bielma coming up a little bit later in sports, Andy. Right, we will see you then, Emily. Thanks. Thank yep. you.